For today's video, I'm going to be giving a five month update on my classroom in Buna tank. This tank has gone through some big changes over the last five months and I'm really happy with the way it turned out. So let's dive right in. All right, so if you've been following along over the last four years of this channel, you know that my heart lies with American cichlids. However, I've always loved the activity and the vibrant colors of African cichlids. So this summer, I thought it was finally time to venture off into that world. With the help of fellow cichlid bros, Alec and Troy, along with cichlid bro-in-law and channel favorite, Rob, we set up what was supposed to be a 90 gallon Mbuna tank. But then... So something um, not that chill happened last night. The seal on the 90 gallon aquarium was broken and it was leaking water all over my lab table. This turned the day totally upside down. We had close to 20 fish waiting to be acclimated to a tank that could not hold water. We had to think fast to fix this problem. We had to drain the tank and take out all of the rockscape and the substrate. Troy and I then rushed to a local fish store and bought an emergency 75 gallon. We reset up everything and finally got the fish in the aquarium. I'm tired of this, Grandpa. That's too damn bad. The original stocking was about seven yellow labs, seven acai, seven johani, and seven demasonite. We knew that the Demasonii was a risky choice with their aggression levels, and that proved to be true over the first few months. The Demasonii slowly picked each other apart and unfortunately did not make it. However, the other fish seemed to be doing great once the initial acclimation period was over. I like the look of the initial scape with the Dragonstone giving a sloped mountain look. However, I hated how the fish would mostly hide behind the wall of rock when my students or I were in the classroom. Once again, my favorite part about Mbuna is how active they are in the tank, and I believe the scape was preventing that. I also noticed a large amount of detritus accumulating in the back corner opposite the filter intake, which I thought was raising nitrates more than I like. After about four months of no improvement, I thought it was finally time to switch things up. Here we go. First thing I did was take some of the Dragonstone out and give the substrate a good vacuum. Next, I rearranged the rock work to create more free swimming areas and caves for the Ambuna to interact with. Next, I wanted some new fish to help bring more color and activity to the tank, especially with some of the original fish dying off. I went with another group of yellow labs. The results of the new scape and new fish have been transformational. As you can see, there is now constant activity in the tank and much more swimming space. I love how the bright yellow labs contrast with the blue and purple of the Johani and Acai. The current stocking has over 10 yellow labs, 7 Johani, and 7 Acai. So one thing that I think has really helped with kind of liven up this tank is I did add an additional wave maker to increase the flow of this tank and to get some of the detritus off of the sand. So I have the hang on the back filter on this side with the wave maker at top that is flowing the fresh water down the length of the tank. And then as you can see, I installed the additional wave maker down low here. And that is to push everything into the intake of the filter there. So 
this wave maker is not super strong, so the fish are not really affected by the flow. Um, but I do think that it has really gotten them to be a little bit more active and definitely more towards the front of the tank. My students are big fans of this tank with how different it is from my American cichlids, which are much more prone to hide when class is in session. I can't wait to see this tank in a few years when they are full grown. Might even have to get a bigger one to get more Buddha in there, who knows. So I'm super excited about this tank and what the future holds. I hope you enjoyed watching and we'll see you next time.